Hey there! A couple weeks ago I started some seedlings in my little Jiffy pellets and they're starting to get to the point where the roots are starting to come out the bottom of the little seed, the pellets. So I want to transplant them into pots and I found this awesome solution that's free how to make your own pots that you can use in your garden. So all you need to do is start with a sheet of newspaper, a full sheet, then just fold it in half. Kind of give it a good crease here. Then you take a, a glass and hopefully, you know, it's a, about the same width around all the way down so it's even. And you just want to start, you know, about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. <clears throat> and start wrapping it around the glass as tight as you can. Give it a, make a good cup here. Then you got the insides and just shove it down inside. I could have made that a little bit smaller. You don't need quite that much space, but anyway, so give it a good shove down. Then slide it out of your glass. And as you can see inside, you want to just pull down the insides that you stuck in and it's gonna seal it up and become the base of your pot. And you can take your glass actually and kind of smash it down in there. And voila, a perfect little, little pot for your garden. And I actually like to tape the sides just in case so to kind of keep it in there more firmly. But then all you need to do is take your potting soil, pour a little bit in the bottom. So let's see if we can See, I'll put it on a little plate. It makes a big mess, so it's nice to do on your kitchen table, right? My husband loves that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little tomato starter plant, plop him inside. Then once he's in there, I like to kind of use a spoon so it's a little more gentle to get the dirt. And just fill it up to the top. So I would normally fill it a little fuller than that, but I'm just kind of giving you an example. Then, water it, and I take this and put it over here in my little handy dandy indoor greenhouse. Um, you can buy this on Amazon.com, uh, it's not too expensive, and I just let it go in there where the sunshine, the morning sun comes in this window. Um, just one thing to note about those newspapers is if you use black and white papers then they're going to be better. Um, sometimes colored papers have chemicals in them that you might not want in your food. So that's what's going on in my garden this week and hopefully that will help you out. It's a good little cheap green tip and when you're ready to plant them outside you just pull the newspapers off and plant, plant the seeds with the roots in the dirt. That's it.